What's up y'all? I'm here to tell you the three best ways to get healthy or to get your health back on track. So if you're just starting out and really have no clue where to start, this video is definitely for you. Or say you've been at this journey for a little while now and you're just starting to hit a plateau and not quite sure where to go from here, it's always good to check back in with the basics and to make sure you're uh, going down the right path and that you're um, not leaving any rocks unturned. Also, on this channel, I'm going to be going in depth every single week of different fitness tips and health tips of what's going to get you closer to your goals every single week. So, if you're looking to pursue pursue your fitness level and bring it to the next level, make sure you consider subscribing. So the number one thing that you can do to really start getting your health back on track is movement. You wanna be moving and using your body as much as you possibly can. Because the more that you move your body, the more that you're gonna get out of your body. Not just moving it, but pushing your body and challenging it to a whole new level on a weekly, even daily basis. And this types of movement can be anything from gym work, weight training, yoga, runs in the park, cardio, or even if you're joining a local sports league. As long as you're using your body and keeping it moving, that's one of the first things you want to really focus on when it comes to getting your health back on track. So the number two area that you really want to put focus on when you're trying to get your health back on track is nutrition. One of our biggest problems is we're overfed and malnourished. So even if it's too hard to not eat the wrong things, at least focus on giving your body as much nourishment as possible. I recommend a smoothie every single day. I actually made a whole video of the smoothie that I make every single day of what's the best thing to take in the most amount of nutrients as possible. But even if you don't choose to do the smoothie, you wanna make sure you're upping your vegetables of all different colors and all different types and even your fruits as well because the fruits and veggies is really what's gonna heal and clean and take care of your body to get it working at 100%. So we're going after complete health and we already went over the physical health and that's the movement where you're using and challenging and pushing your physical body as much as you possibly can. And then number two with making sure your body is properly fueled to function properly. That's where you're getting in as much nutrients as you possibly can. And number three, which I believe may be the most important, and that's mental health. If you're mentally strong and mentally healthy, it's gonna make steps one and two much easier when it comes to challenging your physical body and that mental strength to take in the proper nutrients. And the way to really get on the mental side is meditation. Meditation is like doing deadlifts for your mental health or your mental strength. It's the single best thing, in my opinion, what you can do for mental health. And I've heard and seen uh, people do so many different variations of meditation, so it's always good to try different methods and see which one that you enjoy the most. I've known people who use cardio or yoga for their meditation. Meditation and mental health will help you in every single aspect of your life. If it's depression, anxiety, or stress management, even all the way to your cognitive abilities from your ability to focus and your memory and even your perception. Meditation will help in all different aspects and the better and stronger you are mentally, the easier it's gonna to be to challenge yourself physically and the easier it is gonna to be to take care of your nutrition as well. So make sure you're taking care of all different aspects of your health and that's the way to complete health. So now we have those three different areas to focus on and to get you on your way to complete health. So if this video helped in any other way, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you have any questions, I'd love to read them and respond to them in the comment box below. Make sure you subscribe. I also got new updates on my website as well. So make sure you check that out at www.thewillgrant.com. What's up, y'all? 
Y'all ready for another episode of Will's Wednesday Workouts? <laughs>